Namaste by Sabs. Good afternoon from Agra in India here. The city which holds the Taj Mahal in its old town just over there. It's a lovely summer's evening here in Agra. The sunset will be coming out soon and we're at the train station. Today we're going to be taking one of the most used trains by travellers who do the, the Golden Triangle which is Delhi, Jaipur and Agra. Uh, we're not doing that ourselves but we are going from Agra to, Jai to, Agra to New Delhi this evening or now. The time is 6.20 and our train was supposed to be here at 6.05 so it's slightly delayed but it is coming just now. And we are in Sleeper, which is the lowest class that you can do on this train and the most entertaining, the most fun. Uh, it's the one that we're, we're like absolutely the best. Later on this evening, we're going to be taking one AC, which is first class, the most expensive class you can get in India. Uh, and we're going to be taking that for 12 hours later tonight. But enough about that, this is about Agra to New Delhi and the lowest class on the Indian Railway. So as we can see, on the side of the um, carts, whatever they're called, carriages, they have the numbers and whatever. This is uh, some sort of cargo or something like that. But if you're in this station, you just want to be looking up here. This is a train number, 12137. It's a train number, and that is S1 for sleeper one. We are S3. So we need to go to S3 for sleeper carriage three which is just coming up down the bottom here and I think it won't be long until we get our train as always I saw the reality of these train journeys and I'm here with Paige of course as rat. always a rat wow did I didn't see that one was it on the platform was it on oh, oh yes I did I saw that first rat in India that we've seen <laughs> no that is, that is not the first rat in India <laughs> I can guarantee that much yeah, we haven't actually seen any rats at all in the whole week of being here. And uh, and then we just did. Wow. There's lots and lots and lots of these rats. We've got some crisps. These are plain salted. Not sure whether they're plain or they're salted. And then chat pata masala crunch. The type of Indian delicacies you can get here at Agra train station platform three. Now, I do need the toilet, but I haven't been able to source the toilet, and so I'll have to use the toilet on the train, which I will show, not me using the toilet, but I will show the, the toilet facilities. In the last one, one of the toilets was very good, very clean, well, it wasn't very good, it was clean and it was all right. And then another toilet, I was literally stood in a puddle of wheat. Uh, it wasn't, yeah, it was like, it had waves as it like overlapped my foot. You'll have seen that in a previous video, which I'll, I'll link uh, in the description below if you haven't seen that. Still just waiting for the train to arrive here. If you ask anybody and you're stuck, ask anybody. Normally the younger generation will have better English if you're um, you know, not learning Hindi or anything. The younger generation tend to have better English. Um, and so ask, ask one of them and then they'll, they'll give you the answer. I believe it's going to be coming from this direction and all of the rats will scurry. <laughs> well, we'll wait until the train gets here and then we'll see if it's chaotic or if it's orderly as we get onto the train itself. There's our friend, his friend. He doesn't say very much to us. He just kind of shows us his phone and shows us pictures of his wife. Yeah, he doesn't say very much, but that's no problem. Still, he showed us his phone about the time because it was delayed and he showed us that it was delayed so even though he can't speak any English or anything it doesn't matter, it's still helpful it's still very very friendly which is all you can ask for wow the train, I can see the train there we go it pulls in very slowly as you can imagine I just don't know how many stops it's had before this like how if it's been any like big cities before it's arrived here because that will determine obviously how chaotic it is because it's one thing like a whole rush of people getting on that that's pretty deal uh, dealable like that's easy to deal with but when there's like loads of people getting off 
and loads of people are getting on, you end up like sandwiching. There's not enough room for two people to get in the door. And you end up sandwiching like two, one, two, one, like just in this crush. So yeah, be, beware of that, I guess. But we'll see, we'll see if it's busy or if it's not busy. They always make that big entrance horns known. All the rats will be scurrying away, terrified now. Look at this beautiful Agra evening. We've seen the Taj Mahal today. It was just as beautiful in real life as it was in pictures and videos that I've seen before. Very, very worth coming here, but we are not staying the night in Agra. We arrived here this morning and we're leaving now. We've been here for six hours. And so, New Delhi and then on to Varanasi. We've got a long journey, around 15, 16 hours of trains. And here's the first one. Wow, people are just getting off already. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty full. <laughs> that, uh, actually, that didn't look too bad to be fair. Yeah, yeah, it's actually not as bad as I thought. Let's uh, make a little gap here because uh, people are jumping off the moving, the moving train. Well, here we are. Agra to New Delhi. People are running. Let's move out of the way for them. Let's hope that, you know, it does say S3. Let's hope that this is S3 and that it matches perfectly with the layout of the train. I'm sure it does, they've been doing this for many, many years. It's actually not as busy as I thought it was gonna be. This is, this is good news. That was like the fancy class. Yeah, that was like AC, bed sheets, pillows. So yeah, that's not us today. Later on tonight though, it will be. Our best chance of getting any form of hospitality is when the chai guy comes and he gives you through the window of the train from the street. So it's come from Mumbai. <laughs> it's come from Mumbai. Oh wow, so this is some journey, Mumbai to New Delhi. And we're just merely getting over three hours and this has probably been maybe 12, 18 hours, I don't know, like a long, long time. Okay, it's very dark in there, so I'm sorry if, uh, if I don't pick up the the right sort of lighting and things. Yeah, S3, S3 is coming. And here we go. Ah, look, this guy's he's like our Sherpa. There's a Sherpa just here. We need to find 64. All I know is it's on the side and it's above. So this is what it's like. Everyone's waiting patiently, as you can see. I'm from India. India? No, I'm from Nepal. Nepal? Ah, Ekdom Ramrol. Yes, you know Nepal. Ekdom Ramrol. Have you traveled to Nepal? No. No, I'm not me. No, never, not never been to Nepal yet. But you should have soon we will. Okay. Yeah, because Nepal Ekdom Sunda. Yes. Pokhara. Very Very good. Yeah. Are you are you traveling to Nepal? Yeah, are you? You also? Wow, here we go. Let's okay. go. We've got new friends already and we're not even on the train. <laughs> S4? Yeah, S3. S4. No, this, this one does 64, 64 yeah. And... Wow, we've got like a shirt buddy sticking us the whole way. What a, what a kind guy. I don't think you can even see me. Oh, this is not as high as the other one. That's yeah, good. S3, S4. Okay. Uh -huh. I, I will go here also. <laughs> okay. Danyabad, Danyabad. What a, what a nice helpful so, fella. Yeah, up here. Okay, yeah. enjoy. Thank you very much for that. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. It's a journey. Oh, I'm sorry. I just had to at someone. It's getting an RG on the, on the super train. Okay. Then you bad. Well, this is it. That's, uh, yeah. You have to use this ladder to go up across <laughs> over there. You want to go to the 64. This one. one. Ah. Okay, as you can see, we're, uh, we're doing okay. We're getting there. You might want to try that one. Oh, we've gone over that. Okay. There we go. As easy, <laughs> as, easy as that. I'll just move my bag and then uh, not squash all the crisps. Here's the crisps. 
it will it will get comfier than this, I promise. Yeah. Huh? Right then? Okay. Ticket? Yes, we have our tickets. Oh, huh. Already? Yeah, it's okay. What? I don't know. Nah, nah, this, this is fine. We're good, we're good. I think it, I think you were saying that, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I need to move. There we go. Back against the wall. We're all ready. Whew. It was a little bit stressful, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Oh, being me, there we go. <laughs> so, as you can see, we got help from kind strangers and we um, made some friends from Nepal. I'm sure they'll come back and talk to us at some point because that tends to happen people just walking down the carriages and yeah, loads of people to meet, share food, get some chai through the window when the chai man comes. I actually heard someone shouting chai. But uh, yeah, this is it. As you can see, like this sort of area, we're just gonna chill here. Here's uh, the situation in the train. Got lots of people. There's lots of space, especially on the upper one. So if you're like in the um, on one of the lower bits, then you can and you don't like just sit beside too many people. You can probably like get up on here because most people don't like getting up on the upper bit. I can imagine that one's quite hard to get up. This one, yeah, yeah maybe because you. Well, it's like a vertical ladder. This one, you just gotta push yourself off under here. Yeah, it's not too busy. The train is like delayed, and so this is probably as full as it's gonna get. It's not like it's waiting for anybody. I'll update you more as the um, as the journey goes on. Well, as promised, take you on a toilet tour because I know that's what we all want. It's gonna climb down from here first. Careful, I don't hit that lady. I'll use that side there because that's not in use. Okay. Very easy to get up and down. And here we are, just outside the train. Look at this, guys. This is the outskirts of the city of Agra. As you can see, we are here. Classic shot. Wow. Beautiful, so oh my god, look at all the monkeys. I don't know if you can see all the monkeys on the rooftop there. There's so many of them. And then this monkey just hanging off the side of the train. But man, this is what it's all about. South Asia, Southeast Asia is it's not about like disregarding health and safety and things like that. It's just having the freedom to choose whether you take risks or not. Like standing outside of this train right now, the warm breeze just running through my hair in the sunset the sky is about to turn pink just looking at these fascinating homes and all the lives that are inside of them i just saw some some lady cooking starting to cook dinner for the night there some guys watching tv in that other one and it's just this is what it's all about you know like uh this is traveling this is this is traveling india where you can just see the most fascinating things in the warm weather the beautiful people who are just smiling and laughing and offering you their food and, and, and sharing these moments. It's just, honestly, I cannot recommend coming to India enough. It is truly an amazing experience and I think everybody should prepare themselves, yes, but take the plunge, take the dive and travel India and do it backpacking, do it budget. Go on the sleeper class, not first class, second class, even third class sleep a class meet the people sit with the warm air in you run through your hair not the not the ac and just let yourself just exist in this place because it is just something else okay now after that excitement let's have a look at the toilets so they have locks on them from the outside so the smell doesn't get out and that one's locked on the inside also I think Hi. it's got mangoes and fruit tea there's lots of toilets so you can see they're, they're all everywhere this one is available you see this is not the not the nicest experience, but what does it matter? 
you know we've got a hole here and if you need to go you need to go <laughs> okay so this is literally it there's a hole in the ground there's a bin there's a tap that's, that's it this is the toilets on the sleeper train so the, the tap doesn't work very well as you can see so yeah i would bring your own hand sanitizer number one tip and then uh, also bring your own toilet roll if you need to do that because uh, there's no toilet roll provided on these uh, this one obviously is just just a hole in the ground and there's a cigarette in there but that's as much as i can handle i think of that so let's uh let's head back okay i'm going to use hand sanitizer as soon as i get back because uh it's pretty, pretty, pretty terrible. But. And you can just tell that, like, the bottom of the shoes are going to smell bad. But these are small things in life. This is the important bit. Look out here. <laughs> Namaste, G. Up, kids, here. Acha. Ah, see that. That's it. I'm gonna return to my humble abode here in this nice little spot up here I hope you enjoyed that little toilet journey and uh, hanging outside of the train always uh, you, the rule is you gotta hang outside of the train like before and after and then it makes it all okay for the terrible toilet experience that's that's the job <laughs> it wasn't that bad nowhere near as bad as the last one yeah it smells bad you can't smell it but you better smell it in all the carriages that's not a that's not like a, an AC thing. We've gone past a mosque, I think, here, yeah, which is on its call to prayer. Let's see. And you're So my review, tell me about you. my review is that if you want to come to India and really experience it, you have to take the lowest class train at least once, just to, just to tell the stories from it and to see these moments because it's truly amazing. And we'll see how it compares to first class later on. I'm sure it'll be way less interesting, but way more nice for a good night's sleep. Okay, let's continue the journey and we'll get some chai. 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 Do chai. Pours it out of his keg he's got there. There we go, Danya Baji. And then he goes down the carriage shouting, Chai, Chai, Chai. Until anyone stops him. So, if you want some delicious Indian railway chai, then make sure you stop him and ask for it. It's extremely hot. Come straight out of his uh, keg he's got going up and down the, uh, going up and down the carriages. <laughs> A keg of chai. And this guy is selling some sweets. The sweets? Jesus. Oh, nice. nice. Well, I don't know what it was. I didn't fancy whatever it was, but as you can see, they're just selling all kinds of things up and down. So you don't need to worry too much about what you bring on. The guy has like a, a bucket full of ice, and then inside the ice is bottles of water, so they keep it nice and cool. So you can get bottled water, but I would recommend you get it at the back home anyway. But yeah. Having a party down here, everybody's happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to do some do something by the looks of it. And they're gonna like give her money and then like they're gonna like bless the money. 
Maybe they are the, um, the goddess of money. There, there. They're like, I don't know, they're like, bless the money. And then they are like flirting, flirting with that guy. And then he was very angry about it just there, so. I don't understand. What is this? Bye, shop. What is what what is this? You don't know. What does it mean? What does it mean? Meaning? <laughs> you are asking for some money. Yeah. Why? Why? Blessings. Ah. Okay. 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 So yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. She's trans. She's what? Trans. Ah, oh, okay. So they give money to the trans person, and then the trans person blesses the money, and or blesses them in return, I guess. Maybe they like see like the trans person is like uh, like um, what's like the right way to say it? Like they are like special because they are different or uh, whatever. Like so maybe it's like a spiritual thing here. Really interesting to see. Um, I saw that on the last train we were on, but I didn't ask what it meant. But I'm glad I did. Um, so yeah, trans people here they they take money and then they bless you because they have like a, what is deemed to be a special attribute. It's probably the best way of saying that. Look at all this. We got food coming down here. More people selling food. That looks that looks nice. It's like onions and tomatoes. And uh, chickpeas, I think, or lentils, maybe roasted lentils. But I've still got my chai. It might be cool enough to drink now. Is it? Is it? No, it's not. I'll just burn my lips anyway for you. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Look at all of that mix. That bucket is full of onions, tomatoes, spices and chickpeas or lentils, whichever one it was. This is good chai. It's very fragrant. It's uh, got a lot of flavor. Some of the chais that we've had have just been like, basically like a tea, like a black tea. Yeah, man from the last video who recommended the chai, mm. he was saying that some are quite watered down. Um, so like you'll have like bad chai and good chai where they put like the right amount of flavor in it. This is definitely the right amount of flavour. Yeah, official Indian real world. <laughs> so, yeah, having chai with our friends, anybody else. As you can see, here's what I was talking about with the water. So there was ice in that before, in that, but now there's just bottles left. Yeah, Indian chai on this real world adventure. <sighs> Delicious. So we've got some new bicep friends. Bicep! Chalo, chalo bye sab. We're coming over, we're coming over. Here we go, look. We're up here with the bye sab. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Haryana, Haryana. Agnam ke. Sonu, Sonu. Sonu, Sonu. Agnam ke. Tusar, Tusar. Tusar. Eh, ab kam ke. Haryana, Haryana. Haryana state in India. And these are Kabaddi players. Number one Kabaddi player in India. Yes. Yes, is this true? Haryana. In Haryana. Number one in Haryana. These are a um, pleasure to share this row of benches up here. Look at all this. With the number one Kabaddi in Haryana. <laughs> what is your number one Indian food? Yes, yes. What your your favorite? Uh, churma, churma. 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 What is this? Desi ghee ka churma. Desi ghee ka chapati. Ah, chapati. Oh, samosa. Samosa. Yeah. So your your phone. Oh, this is him. He's winning in chapati. And this one, samosa. So no. Samosa. They don't. They don't have samosas. <laughs> this is uh, your wife. No. No. Uh, father, mother. Father and mother. Mummy, papa. Ah, that's nice. Yes. Bahut sundar. And this is his trophy for winning kapadi. Yes, yes, yes. Very cool. These are my new friends here. We've got lots of different friends all around us. This is what we're doing. We're making friends on the India train. We're going to New Delhi? Yes, New Delhi. New Delhi? Yes, yes. And you? No. Mathura, Mathura. Mathura. After. 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 Oh, okay. 
So they're not they're going even longer. And you come from Agra or yes, MP. Oh wow. How how many hours? How long? Three hours, four hours, five hours? in nine hours and they still got the energy that's great wow it's good to meet you bye sab thank you thank you sono sono yes. uh, yes. sono sono and dusar they are the kabaddi number one players in india we've got some more friends here this guy he told me that he has a friend in london who is a donkey <laughs> <laughs> that's what he told me <laughs> no this is not true <laughs> yeah you told me you had a friend in London who is a donkey. <laughs> no, who, who is your friend? <laughs> who is? Who is? <laughs> I'm frightened him away. He's shy. Bless him. Okay. I think I've overwhelmed him. Too much energy. I'm gonna go back. Oh, there was somebody down there. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try and get back. There we go. We're swinging across. The ledge is here. Yeah. Well, these are the new friends anyway. We'll spend some more time, some more chai, maybe. We'll see. I've just edited my next card number. Wow, that's lovely. I'll show you the before. Yeah, before. Oh, it was Rubbish. a bit of an overcast day. Rubbish. After? Wow. <laughs> Abkanamke. <laughs> Jadeep. Nice to meet you, Jadeep. We've got Jadeep, Sono Sono. No, no, Sono Sono. And Tusar. There we go. Three biceps of the Indian railroad adventure from Agra to New Delhi. So, biryani man has came. And he's given us a lovely gift. A veg biryani. Let's <laughs> open it up and see what it's like. <laughs> Looks like nice, fragrant rice. As you can see, lots of different colours. The reds and greens, and then at the bottom there, there's like, as you can see here, some sort of like sauce mix that I guess you can mix it all together with. Let's, uh, let's try it out. So, we'll get a bit of the rice and some of the sauce like that. Okay. <laughs> It's nice, it's spicy, which is good, and uh, very fragrant, lots of different sort of herbs and things like that. Yeah, this is nice and spicy. If you don't like spice, this will be very spicy. A little bit more there. Mm. It's just nice fluffy rice, spice and herbs. Couldn't ask for anything more, delivered to you. Bunk that I'm sort of currently in here, as you can see. Okay, continue eating this, and we'll see what else this journey brings us. Okay. What's your name? Yeah, hi, my name is Saran. Saran? Yeah. And all of your lovely work colleagues? Yes, exactly. We've shared the last hour of this journey with. Is everyone? Hello. Hi, hi. It's been great to meet you. Yeah. Thanks for being good friends. All Thank best, you. <laughs> and congratulations Thank you. to both of you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. What a great journey that was. Yeah. Very much enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. Chalo chale. Chalo chale. <laughs> Let's go. Could you hold my phone? I absolutely can. Well, that's why we like to do these train journeys. So nice to meet lovely, lovely people. They just give me a load of advice for Delhi when we come back soon. They said that they saw my videos before, which is interesting. I don't know how, but that's really nice. We met some great people. We had some biryani, we had some chai. We shared our sweets, some wine gums, and some glacier fruits, or glacier fruits, whatever you say. And now we've got a little bit of time to kill before we take our train first class to Varanasi and we'll show you the difference between sleeper and 1AC. Okay, stay tuned for the next video. 
Well, you see the difference in this life in India here. We're just leaving the gate. We're just leaving the train now. First time in New Delhi station. It's very busy already. And uh, yeah, we're jumping off. There we go. Beautiful. Yes. Goodbye, our mid friend. He's a very nice man. He doesn't say much. Okay. Very firm handshake. <laughs> oh, very firm handshake. <laughs> okay. He, he did us a good service. He doesn't speak at all, but he's a very nice guy. And uh, there's our friends. Okay, goodbye, guys. Bye. 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 And we're just going to chill here in New Delhi Station and wait for our train to Baranasi. See you in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.